Publicity and friends, folks, before I turn this piece of machete in here, this voted for AT&T. I want to share this with y'all so y'all don't make the same mistake that I made as well as other people that are right here on this AT&T site. I want to tell you my complaint, and then I'm going to read you theirs. But first of all, we've been in this house for five weeks now, and it kicked. Mm-hmm. And all I wanted to do was get the light switched on from the old house to here. And when I did that, they gave me to a representative. I guess the new thing now is they want to give you a package deal where they save you money. Okay, so I get this guy, and instead of me getting Fidelity switched over to here, he talks me into getting AT&T. Now, I'm a big boy. I made the decision to do so. And it made it sound good and it made it sound alluring. But what got me was this man told me that Fidelity d- does not service this area. And I said, well, I find it hard to believe because we only moved a block and a half away from where we used to live. And he goes, well, my computer says that it does not service the area, but AT&T does. Well, come to find out where we lived over there on 17th and A, right across the street, used to be Southwestern Bell, but now it is a big, giant AT&T place. So I thought about it. It was raining, and I'm using my friend's phone, and I need to get back on the job. So I agreed. We got this, and what did it do, Cake, within one, the, as soon as we got it? Buffer. Buffer. That's all AT&T did. And it just consistently, consistently, consistently got worse. And I was aggravated. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to drop them. And so I called the representative and I told him I'm dropping them. And then he was, I got one of the demons from India and he was really hard to understand. And I'm not making fun of them people because we're Indians, but we're not Indians. Man, it was just, it was harder to understand him, but I told him I'm going to send your motor back. So, if you're like me, you go down to Ups, and apparently they will take care of shipping and handling, which I will do tomorrow. They can have this piece of Mucho Mokshet Day back. I'm back with Fidelity, and how much has it buffered on this cake? Uh, none. None. <laughs> I was going to go to Blue Peak, but I heard other stuff about Blue Peak as well. And um, basically, I told my story. AT&T, if you get rid of them, they're going to give you a practice answer, and this is what they do. Hi there. We just wanted to let you know we got your message, and we're ready to help and change your experience. Caring social media specialists. Sure you are. They, they say this. Now, here's some of the other complaints. They also lied to me, saying my phone was 5G compatible when I started my contract. Then, poof iPhone 11 aren't 5G compatible. Liar, liar, pants on fire. From Bree Valentine. Um, and for the best, blah, 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 blah. Um, wish you had a better coverage plan. A brilliant alternative to fuzzy dice. A lot of this is stupid. What happened to them paying for them? I need internet, no, blah, blah, blah. Um, some of the other ones. Talking about Republicans, that's stupid. I think got nothing to do with this. Keep going high, high, high. My phone bill will land the high. Then my light bill, no, that's stupid. Irrelevant. And some of them, they just keep talking about the billing is terrible. Always get a bill, then another saying credit. Then they send a debit card that you can't download. Another complaint. Um... $750 gift card was supposed to get for the promotion and for you swapping over to them. Never got it. Bill went from 230 for three lines to 400 something over time and couldn't really explain why. So I googled the lawsuit they are in for this reason and it's crazy how many times they have ongoing. But it's a billion dollar company so you can't stop them. Just switch to another company, best thing to do. Um, if you're thinking of switching from your current provider to AT&T, don't do it. <laughs> Constant outages, horrible customer services. 
who blame everything on the system, and even after it's been agreed the problem I'm facing is system error, apparently no one can override it because the system says what it says. And then it just goes on and on and on. It's one after another. But don't fall for AT&T. They are full of it. And they make it look so professional, like right here. You look like you're really getting a deal. They're a big corporate company worldwide throughout the world. I am here to tell you, don't get it. It's a piece of trash. If you get it, send it back. Go back to the one that you was with. Don't make the mistake that I did. All these other people. And that's all I got to say. That's the end of the video. Fidelity, you're all that as far as I'm concerned.